What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing Poison Ivy's wig. Now I haven't done a wig for a while so this will be a lot of fun and I want to show you some tips and tricks and how I achieve this along the way. So jumping right in, um, I got this wig off of Amazon. It wasn't the best and I'll explain that throughout the video. But first things first, we need the little horn template. So what I did is I took this styrofoam tube and I cut it to the length that I need. Now you're going to need two of these. And what I did is I took an X-Acto knife and I actually sharpened the top of this into a tip, like a so. Now my mind frame was, I'm going to wrap this whole thing with some kind of foam, just in case I actually need to sew some of the wefts to the cone, which I didn't end up doing. Um, I'll explain that in a little bit, but here's the top of the wig. Again, like I said, this is just kind of a cheap wig off Amazon. And make sure you have your BFF right there with you to help. Zan, she's so cute. So what I went ahead and did is I took some orange wefts that I bought. They were just like extension clips and I just cut them off the clip. And what I'm doing is I'm basically just using like a whip stitch. This is just, um, I don't even know why I use burgundy. But I use burgundy thread and basically what I'm doing is just stitching through the back of the wig, through the weft, and just kind of securing that weft there. You don't have to go crazy um, and do like, you know, 100 stitches or anything like that. You just want to make sure that that weft is secure to the base of your wig. Again, like I said, I haven't done one of these wigs in quite a long time. Um, when I was working for MGM, we used to do them a lot. And one thing I am going to tell you is a curved needle like this one is actually going to be a thousand times easier than a straight needle like um, I'm using in this video. <laughs> I'm like always trying to challenge myself, I think, with like out really trying to challenge myself. I don't know. It's hard being me. <laughs> Anyway, oh, and I kept stabbing the crap out of myself too. That's another thing. Um, you can use pliers if you need to. Um, but, I mean, this is really isn't that big of a project because it's not like you're sewing in a whole weft. You're just sewing in little pieces. So, just be careful and I would definitely say try using your curved needle. Now, when I go to finish off um, and secure my tails, what I basically did was um, I wrapped the thread around the needle once or twice and just pulled it through. So it was pretty much like a slip knot. And within five or six stitches, your weft is secure. And another thing I would say is um, definitely clip your hair out of the way while you're working because you don't want your thread to get caught up in it. It'll be such a pain. And voila. So I went a little higher on the wig and I attached another weft almost at the top of the wig. And this is just given the streaks through the hair that Poison Ivy had. Now I took some red wefts and I wanted to sew them together because now we're getting ready to wrap the cones for the top of the wig. And at first I was just going to do a couple of tacks on the top of this, but then I decided it would probably be better to like actually sew the full length of the, wick, the weft. And then I went through and I actually sectioned it off into thirds and folded it over and sewed across the top again. And it did kind of get a little bit slippery and out of control, but that doesn't matter because what I basically did is I whip stitched this weft to the side of the cone. On the second cone, I actually just went in with um, the hot glue. And I know normally I would say hot glue and a costume is a bad idea, personally speaking. Um, 
but when I was working for MGM, this is how we used to repair a lot of the wigs and stuff that we had to do. Um, so I did do a lot of wig work with um, glue, but one thing I can say is you might burn your fingers <laughs> like I just did there. And um, you have to be really patient and you have to really plan out what you're doing. So I'm going to actually show some of this in real time. Um, and some of it is going to be sped up because this is a long process. This wig probably took me right around an hour and a half to do. Um, and I still think it could have turned out better. I didn't have the proper um, hairspray that I wanted. And I think this hairspray went bad because it kept spitting out little white bubbles everywhere. It's kind of driving me nuts. Anyway, so what you see me doing is basically taking the glue. Um, here I'm adding in the streaky, stripy weft. And I'm using the back of my pick with the glue so that way I'm not burning the crap out of my fingers. And um, basically what you're gonna do is you're just going to take your, your hot glue. And I started taking the back of my comb and like really spreading it out so it wasn't in big globs. And basically just wrapping the hair around the cone until you it's how you like it. Now, after you've done two, I didn't go all the way down to the bottom of these cones because I knew I was adding it to the top of my wig. Now, again, this wig that I got off Amazon, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who the company is that I bought it from, but the top of this wig, and I don't think I have a close-up shot, you can kind of see right here, it looks like they singed the top of the scalp of the wig. So, I mean, the top of this wig was kind of already ruined to begin with. I mean, you couldn't really, and it's not a lace front wig or anything like that either. Um, so what I basically did here is I took a whole bunch of hot glue and I put it on the bottom of the cone and positioned it on the top of the head where I wanted it. And I'm going to tell you right now, having a really hot glue gun does not help with this part because I had to stand there for like 20 minutes until it dried. <laughs> so after about 20 minutes of those drying, I sectioned off pieces of the hair up by the front of the cone and I you just have to be very careful that you're not taking too much hair off of this side um, of the wig because you'll cause a bald spot and that's not very sexy so basically what I'm doing here is I am taking um, my glue gun and I'm just basically gluing the back of the cone the same way that I did with wrapping the top part of the cone. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to finagle that hair around the cone. Um, you know that old saying where it's uh, measure twice, cut once. Uh, I definitely agree with that. Kind of in this situation where you want to move the hair and kind of look and make sure it's how you like it before you glue it. Because once you glue it, it's done. And with a whole lot of hairspray and a whole lot of finagling and some ratting, we finally did it. So here's the final look at the wig. Um, I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. This is actually going to be a display for the next convention that we're doing. Um, but I do have a client that is wanting to replicate this as well. So this one's for you. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel before you leave. Follow me on all other social media and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.